Dave, ta dine er fod an down ag fekint er an klar sha. Uh, so fodrov goler go di klarok er an lolleforig sha. Hello everybody, my name is Barry Flynn and you're very welcome to the 2021 virtual St. Patrick's Day Parade. We're delighted to have you. If it's anything like our virtual Christmas parade, there's people all over the globe watching this. So whether you're in New York or the New Road, whether you're in Rahan or Raheen, whether you're in Kilbegan or Kilbride, whether you're in the West End or Westwood, or whether you're in Ahamore or Australia, or anywhere in between, we're delighted to have you on this virtual St. Patrick's Day parade. The man behind it, as always, is Bertie McMahon. Bertie, what's in store? Well, there's a big, big lot in store this year, because uh, last year I was very disappointed we couldn't have a parade. So I was thinking, thinking, of what way would I get around it if the virus still stayed here? And the way I got around it was I had my own archives at home, and I uh, have all various prayers down through the years of Christmas, Patrick's Day and all. So I decided what I would do with it, I would make slips from so many of those. I have various interviews coming up, <coughs> all interviews back from the 1950s even. And I have ones with Ricey and Barry doing back in the 1980s as well. Then I have Kelly dancing that took place down in the square, down through the years. And I have a special treat in it for all in the Kilbride and Clara area because I have the late Michael Mullins and his sister Roisin playing at the uh, Flag Hall in Mullingar. Now that'll be a special treat for, for everyone to look at and I'll be so happy to have those and uh, have them for the people at Clara because Clara is one place that would always stand together as regards music, entertainment of every kind. And of course today is a special day for me because my wish, Barry, I might say so, that I would be here to have the maestro himself. I can see in front of me the sun shining and he rising to the clouds for the ball. This is, Willie, this is Willie Bryan. Uh, yes, I'm going to tell you. Yes. 1971, 50 years since softly first won the All-Ireland. That's correct, Barry, indeed it is. Your memories, Bertie, you were just My about to memories say. will never die of that. I was so happy going up there on the... I went up on the train with PJ Welsh uh, and myself went up and we always bodied off. Eh? And Willie might remember there, we would talk to him later on it, he might remember that I had a job with the Offaly team and that was collecting the jerseys. That's as far as I could get because make sure or none of them put me on the team. But anyway, I, uh, I used to go in there and that and... I remember being sitting with the late Sean Bracken from Tellamore and I was sitting there and it was raining, raining down at half pine. And we thought we were gone, or I think we were five pints down or something like that. I thought we were gone that way. And by God, McCormick kicked tables and everything inside and roared and shouted. And we come out in the second half and I can still see the knit shaking and the water flying when, when Mort Connor scored a goal. And that was a special time for me. And that's a memory that I will uh, never will never die with me. And that's why it's a pleasure for me today and the people of Clara and County Offaly to have the great Willie Bryan over here to launch this uh, parade and this show in general. So we, we'll pan around here and we have Willie with us. Willie, your memories of that great day. It must have been, it's a pleasure for anyone, I'm sure, to lift the, uh, the uh, Sam Maguire but to lift it for the first time for your county must be a huge pleasure. Oh, indeed. Um, well, time does the memory, but I, I, I can't remember enough of that much, to be honest. Being the first time, you don't come prepared as such. But uh, having said that, when the, we won it, the thing just fell into place. It was unbelievable, certainly for the first time. It was great for Offaly, it was great for us, it was great for our families and everyone. Was, everyone in Offaly, be it across the world. And uh, yeah, it's great to be part of it. Will we see it again, Willie? The burning question. Ah, it's tough. Tough year. Offaly are having a tough time with, with emigration and unemployment. and. Uh, it's not as easy if you're trying to pay for Offaly as it used to be, because it was all commonplace back then. But whereas now, 
it's, uh, it's fairly difficult with training distances involved you know if you're in if you're in Dublin for instance you could gather up the team in half an hour you wouldn't do that an offer no no and of course we looked at the, the the players of the faithful documentary some time ago in relation to the 82 all Ireland uh, similar back in the 70s you had Borden Mona and the ESB big employers oh, and they're, they're gone now yeah flying it was plenty of you plenty of employment and uh, there was no one emigrating. So it's difficult No, yeah. very difficult at the moment. We live in hope, Willie. Ah, oh, yeah, please God. Before we open the parade uh, officially, uh, first of all, Bertie has a song to sing, uh, and then there's a presentation to, to make, and uh, then we'll have uh, Willie to cut the tape and officially launch this year's uh, parade. Uh, just back to Michael Sheridan, brief, briefly, a uh, huge uh, president, chairperson uh, of the Clara Club and, and involved heavily with GA. Michael, I suppose your memories of, of 71? Ah, uh, sure. 71, like, my memories come from way before that, like back to the 50s when there was great teams beating the Leinster finals and we were always waiting for the Hallows to win and in the 50s we should have won a few All-Irelands and uh, into the 60s and we lost the shoot and we should have won but to see 71 and 72 and probably 73 should have been there but all three people were waiting the whole time for that win and eventually it came and it spurred on other wins both on hurling and the minor minor footballer of course won as well and you know all of those lads progressed on onto the senior team or most of them and the breakthrough and the hurling came then and unfortunately we're on the low ebb at the moment in Offaly, but we're, I think we're on a few steps up on the ladder now in both hurling and football, and we have to look forward to better days. But we had great days. Anyone that lived in the 70s and the 80s from Offaly were privileged because they seen the best of the best from Offaly. Thanks for that, Michael. So, Bertie, you have a song to sing, so we'll head for you for the song first. Yeah, well, before I sing the song, I want to offer my sincere sympathy to Raisi, my great friend Raisi there, and the death of his sister, and I know he had a, a lot of sadness there in the past year, and I want to offer that to him. I want to welcome Michael as well, welcome Ed and his daughter, and welcome Teresa, Teresa O'Connor, welcome Dara, and welcome Mary and Linda. I'm delighted because they're special because of the fact that Matt Plemon played with me in every, every parade and Jerry Rock, of course, was the master. And I'm, I'd, I'll never let them go. You know, they'll always be there and that's why I'm so delighted to have Linda and um, Mary here and like to have people like that here. And of course, Teresa has always to by me down through the years as well. Now this little song, of course, we all remember it back from the time that off he won that all Ireland and uh, hope his sight holds out now. Back then, and I, I don't know who composed it, I, maybe Willie can give me a nod later, but we'll try a, a whisper of it. So you can join in if you know it, and I'd be delighted to have you join in. Starts like this off he the champions. Cheers to you, cheers to you, cheers to you, my Willie lad. You brought the cup to Waffle and we are mighty lad. Now off they are the Chankins for the first time. You all know their captain well, his name is Willie Bryan. In the final in Crop Park, attack was called with code. But they met Paddy McCormack, the Iron Man from Road. Cheers to you, cheers to you, cheers to you, my Willie lad. You brought the cup to Offaly, and we are all so glad. Now the game had swung from end to end, and, the match, uh, and as the match went on, they couldn't pass the stalwarts, O'Rourke, Ryan, and Furlong. Other heroes in defence, from the time the game began, Heavy, Nicholas Clavin, and sports star Eugene Mulligan. Here's cheers to you, cheers to you, cheers to you, my Willie lad. You brought the cup to Waffle and we are mighty glad. With Claffy Coney and Mike Tate of Galway, a lot of worry. Sure, they could do nothing to stop the great tear away Kilmurray. With O'Connor Gunnan and Sean Evans, how could this team lose? 
and also on the panel was John Smith, Paddy Finning and Greg Hughes. Cheers to you, cheers to you, cheers to you my willy lad. You brought the cup to Offaly and we are mighty glad to allo John and Father G. We congrats them as well. This is the first of many, uh, many as only time will tell. Cheers to you, cheers to you, cheers to you, my willy lad. You brought the cup to Offaly and we are a big cheer for you all now, mighty lad. Great pleasure for me to have my, one of my favourites, Willie Bryan, here today. <clears throat> and as a token of thanks for Willie coming over and for all the great pleasure and happiness he gave us down through the years. I want to present him with this little trophy, especially from myself and of course Barry as well. And uh, it's just to say, Willie, thanks a million for all the, the, the great times you gave us. And it's, I'm so happy, I just have no more words to say. No, Willie. Now, what we're going to do is we have the, the ladies here, Mary and Linda, and of course, I suppose, uh, as Bertie said, Jerry um, involved with the parade for, for many, many years. For as long as the parades have been going, Jerry has been there. Linda, too, and the GA connection, I suppose. Uh, Pat Flanagan, a great servant of Offaly and Clara Football, both in a player role and in a managerial role. Well, I hope uh, the, the parade goes ahead. Uh, this bloody COVID has us all up in a heap. But uh, best wishes that it does go ahead. I'm sure Bertie guiding and, and Clara is a, is a great spot to get things, make things happen. Right, so, we'll, get the, we'll get the scissors. We have to. We're ready to go and we'll just do a little bit of a countdown to officially pack. declare the virtual parade 2021 yeah. open. Everybody, five. Four, three, two, one. one. Cut the tape. Well done. There we go. Sit back and enjoy. But right now we're taking you back to a half an hour or so ago when we were over at uh, Railway View and at Derry Mill and down by Billy Kerrigan's there and we were talking to all the people, the different bands that had arrived and we were speaking to those people about St. Patrick's Day in Clara and the parade. So we're going to have a look at that now. So sit back and enjoy yourselves for approximately the next 15 minutes and then we'll be back here live with you here in the square for the start of the parade. 10 minutes to 12. That means there's 50 minutes, 40 minutes left to count down for the start of the parade. And we've just been joined here by uh, members of uh, the Moat Boy Scouts. Is that right? That's right. Yes. And what's your name? Yes. Uh, PJ Higgins. PJ, and you're what in the Boy Scouts? The unit leader. I'm you're the unit leader. leader. And who else have we here? Lads, would you come in and join me? Introduce me to all these fellas here, PJ. Well, uh, this here is Joseph Evans. Uh, that's the scout leader, Jared Higgins. Uh, that's the scout leader. That's Tony Kelly. Behind you, you have all the scouts. All the scouts. scouts. And, uh, and, and this is your first time in Clara, is it? I mean, our first, first parade over. Why did you come to Clara this year? Well, we've been at Clara we've been at home for the last four years. So we decided that uh, our Clara is here. And anything we want, we get them out. Uh, Jim Kelly there. Yeah. So we said we'd obliged you on the That's terrific. Show a bit of call together. So lads, a big, big hip, hip, and hooray for more. Hip, hip! Hey! And you'll be seeing the Boy Scouts. Hey! And the Cubs as well, is that right? Cubs and Beavers. Yeah. And Beavers. Oh, we want to get in and say hello to all these Beavers. What's your name? And what's your name? And Pete. And what's your name? And who are you? That's great. And you're all looking forward to the big parade today in Clara. And you're marching. Well, there's all sorts of chaos here. Everything happening around. Buses coming, bands arriving. Everyone happening. We're waving at a big bus there coming in. The Midland Bus Company from that lawn. And that uh, looks like a tin whistle band or a pipe band arriving as well. So it's all happening here. And we're moving along, down along, seeing what's happening other places around. I see Tom Curtin there as well. I see a whole lot of other people here from more today as well. Smile, ladies. You're on candid camera today. <laughs> it's all happening, and you'll be seeing it all. We'll be going out live in a while. Traffic building up all around us. I see Liam Kelly coming through. All of a sudden, instead of a television announcer, I'm becoming a traffic warden. There's TR Dallas. <laughs> and, going by. and that's the cheer from the whole crowd for TR Dallas. We're going down further to meet everybody else, getting ready for the parade. Oh, don't worry about it. 
Yeah, really rich. Right, well, here we have members of the Bailin Band. Is that right? St. Bridget's, is it? St. Kieran's. St. Kieran's, I beg your pardon. Yeah. Well, you're here in Canada today. Is this your first time for the parade? Yeah. Uh, what's your name? Mary Higgins. Mary Higgins from Bailin, are you? Yeah. And what's your name? Kansas. And who else? Rita. And we have a lady over here with an accordion. What's your name? Anne Marie Brown. Anne Marie Is that heavy carrying today? Yeah. Have you been in other parades before, Anne? Yeah. Have you? You're looking forward to Clara today. Yeah. We hope you have a great day. The sun is out, everything's happening. It's going to be a great day. Shamrock in and everything. Did you play, what do you play in marches? Yeah. And reels? Do you play in the range of jigs and like that? Yeah. Of course you don't. Can I need you dance? Will you be dancing today? Yeah. We're all going to have great sport in Clara anyway. You're very, very welcome. It's on the telly later on. You'll be able to see it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. St. Kieran's band from Berlin. Yeah. Hi. Right, here we are with two of the gentlemen that are responsible for what's happening today. We've been after being around town now. We've been up looking at the bands arriving and different people into the town. And uh, I can safely say that the Clara Parade, taken population-wise, uh, percentage-wise, is the biggest, perhaps the biggest parade in the whole country of Ireland. If not in the world, if you take the population into the size, with the amount of floats and the amount of people and the amount of bands, if you take that all into consideration, we have the biggest parade in the world. Bertie McMahon, are you happy about it? I'm absolutely delighted, Rising. I'm overwhelmed. It's like a morning when I'm getting married. And um, I'm delighted that all people are so happy here this morning. Michael, you must have been uh, keeping the old fingers crossed for the weather, were you? That's for sure. We had a special board. That's why we have, we have the PP along this morning, is they? But he's been three years praying for this, and it's only today he gets it. That's great. So there you are. Uh, but uh, here's, the man, here's the man who's done all the foot legging to get this. Can you, you see know? any problems, Bertie? No, I don't think so. No, I think I put a statue in the square last night and it seems to be working out okay. Yeah. So I think everything will run out right. Yeah, Dad, tell me about the statue, Bertie. Is this an old... Uh, well, this is an old thing that was done old years tale. and years ago. I got I believe it from an old friend of mine. I believe that... Uh, uh, ladies, when they're getting married, if they wanted a fine day, used to put a statue out in the garden. Oh, right? I wish a few of them would come my way. <laughs> <laughs> a few of the ladies. <laughs> yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> so there you go. Perhaps uh, Clara's most eligible. Austin Cumberland, come on in here, Austin. He's out there directing traffic and that. There's a band going by. Girls, will you just pop over here for a minute? We get over here to the girls. Where are you from? Sorry to walk away from you, lads. But you get like, where are you from? And what's your name? And what's your name? And who are we here? Here's the drummers here. Come on in, girls. What's your name? And and you're from? Right, right. Cover clear. And you're going to give it hell here today, are you? Oh, yeah. We're leading the parade. Were you here last year? Were you? Oh, yeah. And did you enjoy it? Did oh, it's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. So you're looking forward to the fine day? Oh, yeah. We yeah. want to have the swirl of the kilt as well. The... Oh, yeah. yeah. This is it. <laughs> we won't ask the ladies what do the men wear under the kilt. No, don't. No. That's a secret. They wear shorts. Oh, they wear shorts. They wear shorts. That's, we shouldn't be saying that. So you shouldn't. Anyway, that's the, the, the pipers there. We won't delay any longer. You're popping down there to start the parade today. It's all happening here. All sorts of action. Some of the, the oh yes, hello, how are you? Who have we here at all? What's this fella's name? Ned. Ned, Ned for whom? Ned. Ned anyone. Ned anyone, he says. And you're in the parade today. What are you going as? Uh, ass and cart. Just as the good old fashioned ass and cart and a bit of shamrock here on top. So there you are, viewers. The Lord Mayor is out there. Paddy, will you come in here? Paddy Fitzpatrick, come in. We might as well have three asses standing together as two. <laughs> Paddy, come up here along with me. Paddy, great day again for the town. Oh, woeful day. Are you Bertie. parading? Oh, I'm parading, yes, and I have that. Who's along with you today? Oh, I cannot tell you. You can't top oh, secret, no, is it? top secret. You pass by in the parade. <laughs> Everything organised. Great day, organized. Paddy. Great day. Tell me, do you know what about this old folklore thing? Bert McMahon told me he, he, he hid a statue up in the square last night so as to be a fine day today. Do you know what about that? Well, there is an old folklore up there concerning... Yes. Uh, if you pray it in a certain place, there was an old Finn family, Carvery family. Yes. You used to go out there and say a few prayers. And that brought the fine day. And then. that brought the fine day. So it's really working out so, so Bertie, far. So Bertie has, Bertie has went to this particular spot over the weekend and he was seen kneeling down praying. Praying, okay, so. Well, Paddy, we it's wish the you... the first time I've seen him praying. <laughs> well, Bertie, my man's really going to have a laugh at that. Okay, oh. Ned, isn't that his name again? Okay, Ned, I'll be seeing you later on as you pass this Where prayer, is this and you mobile will be home? Down here. The mobile home is down below there, Paddy, all waiting for the Lord Mayor himself. Lots of things happening. Stay tuned here on Channel 4. This is the band we have been talking to. The New Orleans a Jazz Band. Just have a look at the New Orleans. New Orleans is the Thank you. 
Constable is getting tied up here in his drums. And the drum major himself, the big chief, Vinny McConnell, giving it hell here as well. Well, what's it like to be back in the band business again? Well, I reckon it's really great to be back again in the After band business. After 50 days. years. We're going to make a great revival of the brass band in Tara, please, right. This is the start of it. This is the start all of it. All the lads here are on. Oh, so they're all very interested. I, I, love, I love the rig outs. Oh, yeah, it's really good. They're the old band, so, oh, Tara. Yeah, sure. Back from the days. Why are you back in town? <laughs> back in the days. What, what are you going to be playing? Do you mean to be back? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
again to 1988 St. Patrick's Day here in Clara. We have at the moment over 130 uh, participants between floats, bands, what have you, organisations. It's going to be a great parade. But it's going to be a great day for us here in Clara because it's the first time to welcome in their fabulous rig outs in their green, white and gold, the national colours, all the way from, where are you from? Aircourt. What's your name? Laura. Laura whom? Galna. And this is your first time in Clara, is it? Yes. Now let's have a big hip hip here for, for everyone in Aircourt. Hip hip! Yeah! Now what sort of a band have you? I see tin whistles here. Have you accordions? Yes. And what else have you? Majorettes, pom poms, pom -poms. Pom -poms. anything and, else? Um, flags. And banner flags. Banner flags. And drums. drums. We've the whole lot here. And you're all from Galway. Yeah. yeah. And we're from Galway. And you're wearing the awfully colours. Yeah. And Galway are playing awfully on Sunday. Who will you all be shouting for? Galway! Okay, Galway. you're all very, very welcome along. Who's in charge of the band? Um, the band. Wait, now, wait, 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 now we'll ask who's in charge of the band. Sister Chairman and Una Lyons. And Una Lyons. Yeah. Are, they, are they hard teachers, are they? No. Do you enjoy the band? Yeah, they're great. And your uniform's lovely. Thank you. How long is the band formed now? How long? A year, a year today. A year today. A year today. Yeah. It'll be your first time. Well, we'd like to wish you the very best and enjoy your stay in Clara. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Right, well, we're moving down along to meet another band who will be making their first appearance in Clara again as well. Of course, the Nina Band. This year we won't be having the Mullingar Band because they're participating in the National Parade. <laughs> OK, so over to the Nina Band. Nina Band, we've been re relayed on the way by Brother Charles. Very good. Brother well, well, Charles, this is a, a, a historic day for St. Anthony's. It is, yeah, because it's the first time we ever participated in a St. Patrick's Day Parade, and we're absolutely very proud and honoured to be here. This is my old alma mater. I was here for 12 years, and when I fought and died for Ireland, and I'm, and I'm, I have rose again, and I'm fighting, still fighting for Ireland, for now, young Ireland this time. But how, I thought it was the usual now for the, for the boys in, in St. Anthony's to be on holidays, wouldn't they, it? They would have gone home yesterday evening, so it's a big effort for them to come back. They came back this morning from Ballymahan and Mullingar, Athlone, Furban, uh, Kennedy, right around. And what so message are they bearing? The message that they're bearing is by Irish choose Irish and we'll provide Irish jobs for our young people and for the people of the future. Be Irish, buy Irish. Be Irish, be Ling. That's it. OK, Grand no. Charles. Great stuff. Oh, they're just heading much. down there now for the start of the parade. OK. The GA, uh, young footballers, under 16, juveniles, some of the minors as well, and they're uh, having a big night in the Clorock Lounge tomorrow night for their trip to London. But right beside me here is a fabulous new Fiesta car. Porrick Gowan is driving that. He's not out here on behalf of Coltons, even though it was bought in Coltons. He's out here on behalf of the Clara GA because they're starting off a super draw. A super draw starting off in April, and tickets are £30 each, and they're on sale from all the different members around the world. And this is the final prize, and it'll be all happening in about six months' time at a big night in the Clara GA. There are also some holidays to give away as well. But of course, the lads on the back have worked very hard for their holiday, and they are flying out uh, from Clara on Holy Thursday, I think it is, over to London for a long weekend over there. So say hello to everybody over there in London for us. Right, lads, we wish you luck on that. Everything happening around here, the Boy Scouts going by, and it's all happening. We're trying to get down to meet the Nina band. We mentioned we'd be talking to them a few North minutes ago. We established 1977. What's your name, sir? John Keith. John, this is your first time in Clara. Very first time. First time, and we're delighted to have you here as well. Thanks very now, much. Let me tell you, uh, the band re-established in 1977. That's right. Yeah. So you must have had a Nina band way back? Oh, there have been several Nina bands way back, going back to the 1800s. Mm -hmm. um, the, actually, some of the instruments there are um, 70, 80 years old. The best drum that I'm playing there is... Um, was repainted in 1947, yeah. and uh, we, we, we repainted it again in 1977. Well, we'll, I'm, not, I'm, I'm reluctant to part with it, actually. Oh, okay. Listen, uh, you've played in many St. Patrick's Day parades. We've played in several. We've played in every St. Patrick's Day parade in Nina from 77. We reformed and re-established the St. Patrick's Day parade in Nina in 1977 on a suggestion from one or two of the lads. And we started off with the bass band, the Boy Scouts, and the FCA. And you won't be in Nina today? No, the Nina Parade was on on Sunday last, last Sunday. So, but oh, unfortunately good. we weren't there. We got an invitation to take part in the London Parade this year and we went over there. We only came back on Tuesday night. Well, let me wish you the very, very best of luck here in the Tower Parade. Thank you very much. I'm certainly looking forward to hearing your music. I hope, that was the I Nina Parade. Standard. It certainly will. We're going back down to, to 1940 to 1944, which was, I think, one of the first bands 
in Clara, and I know they're going to be presented with some plaques later on. We'll try and have a chat with some of the people in this band now. And here we've got Podge English. Podge, you joined the Clara Brass and Reed Band in what year? 1940. 1940, so just coming up on the final years of the band, would that be correct? Yes, uh, well, we're about four years after it, it band was disbanded in. We all had the option of buying our instruments. And did you buy yours? Didn't. No. What, what did you play in the band? A trombone. A trombone, and you say you're sorry you didn't buy it. Yes, yes. Well, good to see the old band back together again. We've got Paddy Brennan here as well. Paddy, how are you? All right, not too bad. You joined the band in what year? I don't want you was it. I the 20s. Be... During the 20s, one of the earlier members of the band. And what instrument did you play, Pat? I a baritone. Pardon? A, a first baritone. A first baritone. Yeah. And uh, how long were you with the band? Were you with it until the 40s? The whole time. The whole time until it disbanded. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Who have we got here? I'm one of the, the young fellas. One of the young fellas. Paddy Whelan is my name. Paddy Whelan, and you were with the... the same, same time as Paul English there. In the early 40s, yeah. and you were with it, and you played? I played a euphonium. A euphonium. All of these names, I've I got to admit, could you explain a euphonium to me? Well, but some people call it a French horn. Oh, I know what you're talking about, you. Yeah. So the proper name being a euphonium. Well, you want plenty of breath to play one of those? Yeah, you certainly Another would. Euphonium. Another man here? I'm a son of, of, of Paddy's here. A son of Paddy's, and you were in the band as well? In the band about 1940s. Yeah. In 40s, one of the later members as well. Yeah, yeah. And in the band you played? A trumpet. A trumpet. It's a brass and reed band. And if we move over here a little bit, Kevin, how are you? Very well. And you were in the band as well? Yes, I was with the boys. Great times they were. And what year did you join in? About 1940 as well. Another one of the 40 boys. Yeah, was there mass this parade in Tullamore. There was hundreds on that parade in those times. Mm -hmm. And we got great enjoyment. There was no other fun at the time either. It was great. Right. And uh, the Clara Brass and Reed Band, one of the better bands uh, around at the time, I do believe. Oh, it was w one of the leading bands in the Midlands, sure. It was a fantastic band altogether, you know. And Kevin, what did you play? Trumpet, a trumpet. I trumpet as well. <laughs> I'm sure you be did better than try. And finally, behind us here, we've got... Uh, Pat Alleni. Pat, and what did you play? The uh, official mascot, actually. The mascot of the band? Oh, yeah, that's more or less. And what exactly did mascot entail? Well, I just was I had a photograph taken with the band back in nine, whatever date it was. I can't remember even. Mm -hmm. But uh, no, I didn't. I didn't actually play with the band at the time. The band were your heroes at the time. That's that's right. Yeah. Okay, yeah, listen. Yeah, that's thanks why Michael lads, White won't message. let us in. We were after been begging him, but there's no way we're getting in the door. Michael, is there anything you'd like to say to the people of Clara? I uh, just uh, wish to pray the best of luck and another f fair play to Bertie again. He's he's pulled off another. We say, as regards organising a great day in Clara, and you know, f f f f thanks to Bertie as well, really, you know. Right, you're looking forward to a good day? Well, I'd say there'll be a good few people knocking around, okay? I mean, you'll probably open your door at some stage during the day, anyway, Michael. Well, I should think so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, best of luck to you, Michael. Thanks very much. For a moment, we're inside the Mill House dining area, or the function room at the moment. I've got uh, Chris Daly, the proprietor, here with me. Chris, uh, you're working hard and your staff are working very hard to get the place in ship shape for meals afterward, is that right? Yeah, we have, uh, we're laying down now for 150 people that have uh, booked in already. So we're expecting a few more, but we're, we're ready for 150 and we'll probably have another 100. We expect about another 100 as well. well this is your first year uh, in business for the St. Patrick's Day Parade, so it's uh, a new venture. It's hard to know what to expect in a way, is it, Chris? Well, it's all new for us, and it's, we're just trying to take it the best we can. We're, we're trying to cover all the angles, but we hope we, we're doing it's the best we can anyway. It's going well for you anyway, Chris. You've got music here tonight as well, uh, Joe yeah, Rabbit. Yeah, we have Joe Rabbit and Quando for uh, Bertie is running his night here tonight, and um, we're expecting a big crowd for Bertie because he deserves all the, all the backing he can get. He's doing a fantastic job for the town. Tops of the town were here last night. They had the um, Country, Country Wildlife. Wildlife. They were a fantastic band and they had a great night out and everything went very well for them. So we're hoping tonight will be just as good. Well, thank you, Chris, and good luck Thanks with the day. Thanks very much. Thanks very much. Thank you. And I've got the owner with me, Paddy Kelly. Looking forward to a good day, Paddy? Oh, yes. I'm looking forward to a good day, um, Barry, yes. And um, very thankful for the, in the authority three is in here. And uh, I wish to thank um, Bertie for his um, hard work during the last couple of months. 
and he must have been praying to God for the few fine hours that he's entitled to get. Indeed, the forecast said it was going to be windy and rainy, and, and we still have a, a nice dry day, so someone's praying for Bertie up there. Oh, yeah, I was speaking to him last night, and he asked me, what's the weather like? And he says, Bertie, says, the forecast is bad, thunder, shower, snow, and I won't say what he said. <laughs> Please don't. Have you music tonight, Paddy? We have, we have. We have this um, local group, uh, up-and-coming group in the Midlands, up the junction. All oh, right, right, Martin Tracy and his new band. That's right, yeah. I'm sure it's going to go very well. Oh, yeah, the last night over here, the place is completely packed, and we would be hoping for the same tonight, and wish, wish Martin and his group the best of luck in the, in the future months. Right, Paddy, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much. Yeah, Sergeant Kevin Ford. Sergeant, uh, looks like it's going to be a good day for Bertie again. Yes, I hope so, Barry. Yeah, he's been lucky nearly every year this last while, so I hope it'll hold out for another hour or two anyway. Right, if you uh, say there are people at home watching this who may be thinking of coming in a few minutes to parade, uh, have you any traffic restrictions or is there anything you'd like to say to them? Well, there are anyone uh, coming in late, I'd uh, ask them to park fairly well out and, and walk in because it's going to be very congested here whenever the parade starts. And uh, the less traffic there is in and around the square here, not the better. Okay, Sergeant, thank you very much. It's lounge, and as you can see from the background, Jimmy has bar and lounge opened all into one. Expecting a good day, Jimmy? Sure, we're expecting a very good day today. And again, uh, Bertie seems to have come up, uh, come up trumps with the weather, so we're hoping for a good day weather-wise as well. Yes, we hope to have a very good day today. It just gave it bad, but uh, I think it'll be a quite a good day. So, Well, have you anything special lined up for today or tonight, Jimmy? Yes, we have music today. Uh, at 2 o'clock and we have music again tonight with uh, Alan Dale so That's t today or tonight is it? Today and tonight Oh both times, yeah very very good Jack Allen and the Conways, Alan Dale, very very good So I hope it goes well for you Jimmy and thank you very much Yeah well thank you very much for calling in I hope we have a very good day Right Jimmy thanks, bye bye Causing a slight traffic jam at the moment I've got Desi Dolan in the milk van Desi how are you doing? Not bad at all very and uh, uh, you believe you've got a message of goodwill to send out to Bertie and his parade? Uh, just on behalf of the, the Dolan family and Clara Kiotis, I'd like to wish Bertie the best of luck in the parade. Thanks, Desi. We better let you go before we block any more traffic. Thanks, the customers waiting to be served here. So very quickly, Des, anything you'd like to say on St. Patrick's Day? The best of luck to Bertie and all. That it's a great success and I hope everything goes well for him. We'll be open all day here if you're stuck. So. <laughs> That's we it, in a nutshell. Now we're up here much. on the occasion that's in it. We might, no better man to sing an old song than yourself. And so we'll all join in, would you, if you'll you sing us one old song? I'd sing, an, I'd sing an old number, like I right. suppose it goes. Oh, Father dear, I of times hear you speak of Aaron's isle. Her lofty scenes and valleys green, her mountains roll and wild. They say it is a lovely land in where a prince might dwell. Then why did you abandon me? The reason to me tell O oh, son, I loved my native land With energy and pride Until a blight came o'er my crops My sheep and cattle died the rent in tax is were too high, I could not them redeem. And that the cruel reason I left old Skibbereen. The land, the Lord, and the sheriff came to drive us all away. They set my roof on fire with their demon yellow spleen. And that's another reason I left old Skibbereen. Your mother too 
God rest her soul, lay on the snowy ground. She fainted in her languish sing the desolation round. She never rose, but passed away from knife to mortal dream. And you were only two years old, and feeble was your fame. I could not leave you with my friends, you bore your father's name. I wrapped you in my coat of moor in the dead of night, unseen and I heaved a sigh and bad goodbye to dear old Skibbereen but father dear the day will come when vengeance loud will call and I'll be the man to lead a band beneath the flag of green and loud and high will raise the cry revenge to first give a ring. That was lovely. That was, that was lovely. We must have this, uh, an old song. And of course, the Gagan family were a family who was renowned for songs about Clara. And uh, the late Joe Gagan uh, put many songs together. And one of them now, uh, Christy is going to sing. And Christy's, what would Joe be to you, Christy? Joe. Uh, he composed this song, uh, composed countless numbers of songs, but uh, this is one about the mill here. I'll sing a couple of verses, or I'll do my best, and yeah. have a crack at it. But uh, he was a genius, like, he was great. He was out before his time, actually, and anyway. Just, just before you do sing it, uh, Christy, just to say to you about the old mill, are you sorry to see it go? I am, it was a landmark in town, but then you can't stand, stand the way of progress. That's it. Have you any happy memories of it? You didn't work in it just No, there? I didn't work. My true brother worked there, Andy and Tommy. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah. Well, yeah. In, indeed, I suppose, like, everybody has their memories of, of historical buildings, like, like the silos here of the mill and the old mill itself and that. And it's lovely, Christy, to have you here now, and you can do a little song for us now. I'll give it a try, but I wouldn't be great. Oh, Rafford Claret Town, it's a place of high renown. Better known as Clash of One, let you go where you will. Boys, remember this civic, there's no other town can lick. The flower that we make in Nerry Mill. Oh, it goes away from Cork to our friends in sweet New York. From Dublin down to Belfast, their mouths we have to fill. And from Bor to Atten Rye, sure no other stuff to buy but the flower that we make in Nerry Mill. Oh, its colour is no white, and the bags are sewed up ties. We guarantee that not a grain will spill. If you live in kingdom come, sure we'll make the lorries hum with the flowers as we make in every mill. Every union far and near, they send their orders here. The doctor recommends it to every Tom and Bill. And the nurses, they all boast, it's a master making toast with the flowers as we make in every mill. So hurrah for Clara Town, a place of high renown. Better known as Clash of One, let you go where you will. Boys, remember this civic, there's no other town can make the flower this we make in every mill. Thanks very much, That's Christy. That was lovely. Christy Gagan is raring uh, to go, Jerry. and we're all going to join in with the awfully rover. So away we go. Right, Chris? A rover I have been, and a rover I will stay. Unto the faithful county shore I will return some day. Oh, Falia, how I love you, 
which her had her scented air. Silently the peaceful Brasna calls our sons from far and near. <coughs> oh, can see, I long to see when the woodbine is full bloom. And stroll the fields around for a band, hear the wild bird in full tune. At Clon McNeys I see you, unto Banner I stray. Where fishermen will drink and hear of the ones that goes away. Oh, dead or still in exile are some friends I used to know. I must pass through Kilahi, where good sportsmen are laid low. At Crahan Hill I see you, where in childhood I did play. Adieu to you, all tall or more. I must be on my way. I'll wild fire high upon the fire, bring the cagin from the van. Let the blacksmith sing his rebel song, let the poacher tell his yarn. Come close, my friends and neighbors, fill your glasses to the brim. I will toast our awfully heroes from the heather hill and glen. Our rover I have been, and our rover I will stay. Unto the faithful county shore I will return some day. Oh, Falia, how I love you, with your header scented air. Silently the peaceful Brasna calls our sons from far and near. Cool the boys. This time we have a bit of a song, or is it a poem? And this was actually composed by... Um, Miss Bridgie, Mrs. Bridgie Dyle I have here beside me and her sister, Mrs. Uh, Margaret Conway, composed this uh, poem. So Bridgie is going to do it for us now. Elegy on Airy Flour Mills. For years you've towered our Clara town. Now decay decrees you must come down. But never shall you disappear unmourned, unsung, without a tear. Remember still, do not forget White over all men whose work and sweat took in the grain and milled the flour, and working steadily hour by hour, sent it out on back of lorry to bakeries in every town where loaves were baked all crisp and brown. From golden fields to urban dwelling, with human labor and God providing, rest then in peace, ye men since dead, your saviour lives concealed in bread. Wonderful, that was lovely, Bridget. Oh, no. I mean, it's me going by then, Sarah Jack's going. Right, love. Like love, this is my song. Here is a song, a serenade to you. The world cannot be wrong if in this world there is but you. I care not what the world may say, without your love there is no day. So love, this is my song, here is a song, a serenade to you. Why is my heart so light? Why are the stars so bright? Why are the skies so blue? Since the hour I met you, roses are shining bright, shining for our delight, shining so tenderly for the world, you and me again. 
I care not what the world may say. Without your love, there is no day. So love, this is my song. Here is a song, a serenade to you. Congratulations, Willie. Hall of Fame winner in the Athletics Club nominations. And Willie showed you today last year, this time last year, you were on Fifth Avenue with the Offaly Association. Right. That's a massive honour. That's a great honour. This is one of the biggest honours of my life. That's great. We're delighted for you. People to ask me to do my own town. That's great. Pleasure and an honour. Well, we're certainly looking forward to that. We'll be moving back now and getting the start of Clara's Parade for 1987. Congratulations again for your young Friday. Nice big round of applause, everyone. Oh, don't be Oh, there we go. Okay. And so starts the parade for 1987, and we'll be coming to you live when it joins us up here in the square in Clare. To Peter Nolan, we've got a special presentation to make to mark the homecoming as well and the official opening of the parade. Well, I am absolutely delighted that Peter could come home to open the parade because if I've said time and time again, it's the one ambition I had was to get Peter Nolan home to open the St. Patrick's Day parade since I started back. 15 years ago. Thank you, Bertie. Uh, thank you very much for inviting me home. It's uh, quite an honor for me to open this, this wonderful parade, and we all owe a, gra a debt of gratitude to, to, to Bertie for doing this. I, I, this is the first year I was here, and it won't be the last by the looks of it today. I thank Bertie very much for his kindness to me, and uh, I accept this, and I'll always cherish it. And to all of you, I say thank you for a great welcome. Thank you very much. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Happy St. Patrick's Day, 1997. a
as Kilvrige, Mihal and Mulla and Nagas Hardin, one in Irifur Roshin, Kyolas Naspunovi, Balayera. took a stroll one summer's day in a lovely afternoon through leafy woods and shady groves alone I chanced to stray I heard a cuckoo sweetly sing as the evening sun went down and I blessed the day that I was born in dear old Clara town. My thoughts went back to other days when I was just a boy. The fun we had, the games we played, our hearts were filled with joy. We climbed the trees for hazelnuts with their shells of golden brown. Oh, God be with those happy days round dear old Clara town. The show took place just once a year on the green beside the square. With swinging boats and fortune wheels and gladness everywhere. The donkey race I still recall where thrills and spoils around. Oh, God be with those happy days round dear old Clara town. There were fairs and markets in the streets, and the young and old were there. The farmers with their products fine came in from far and near. Their geese and ducks and chickens too, and glorious cockerel sounds. Often fill the air in that grand old square, in dear old Clara town. St. Bridges Church stands in the square, with its steeple towering high. And I pray for all that's dead and gone, when I am passing by. The Angelus bell rings loud and clear, calling people for to pray. And it tells the farmer in the field the very time of day. My sheaving of the Brosna banks, oh, were I by your side. Your waters flow through Clara town, where your sparkling waters lie. The jute mill just beyond the bridge, a spot of much renown. Oh, what memories cling around my heart of dear old Clara town. St. Bridget's Abbey in Kilbride is famed throughout the land. So to Rang's flour mill down the road by a corner so grand. The monastery, its roots run deep, with brothers in their gowns. Oh, God be with those happy days round dear old Clara town. I remember well the hills and dells, with the hounds I chased the hare. Through Ballinas and old Kilbride, and little was my care. So when I die, I hope my folks will lay my body down in that grave, in, in the graveyard, just outside your old Clara town. I should have taken the brave graveyard. Mary Bourne, no. An evening last summer, one day afternoon, when the meadows were charming, and the flowers all in bloom. I chance for to stray with 
Alas, by my side, for to view the fair scenes of old ancient Kilbride. How sad was my ramble, it caused me some tears, when I've seen all the homesteads that I dwelled in for years, and all by companions that are left here in shores. They were fled from their homes around sweet autumn morn. It's down to the graveyard I chance for to go, for to see all the headstones that stands in a row. I try for to read them, but it seemed much in vain. The inscriptions were washed off by the downpours of rain. And through the thick bushes I scarcely could see The green grave of my ancestors where they lie indeed. I gave a look round me, the old abbey I've spied. It was the home of St. Bridges where she did reside. And when she was leaving, in the front she did stand. And she blessed it forever by one wave of her hand. Now when I was leaving, this spot I knew well, I could hear the chimes of the monastery bell. It brought back to memories in days long of yours that I spent in the heather of brown sweet autumn o'er. A fair maid approached me, and she looked in such pride. So I christened her kitty, the star of Kilbride. You won't yourself, as you said, and Teresa's going to sing it for us now. Okay. We were 
were poor but rich in love. No TV, but good times there was plenty of. We made the best of what we had, and we'd all sing along. And times are changing And my own children Are rare and gone I wonder then Will they fondly remember The days of long ago Would greet you at the door. A friendly word, even travelers there was a welcome for. At night time, neighbors rambled in and might stay till twelve or one. In my father's house. And times are changing The rambling houses Are almost gone I wonder then Will they fondly remember The days of long ago
forgot to mention there Mary Jane Kays, who was on the harp there, and Regina Fleming, who was over there with a little doll in the corner. Uh, could we have a good round of applause there for them, please? <clears throat> and now our next uh, dance will be the three tunes. And uh, dancing in it is uh, John Scanlon, Marcus Newman, Martin Tempany, and uh, Liz Rickard. Also, Cora, Cora Brady, uh, Evelyn, Evelyn Rooney, and Mary Newman, and Breda Fleming. So, so give it hell there.
Now, ladies and gentlemen, this part of the program we'll have a hornpipe with Sheila Gaffey, Samantha Tohey, and Muriel Kennedy. So get, put your hands together and get a big round of applause.
are catching. That's what's causing a bit. Last night, as I stood on the banks of the Boyne, some soldiers were going away. There was one soldier lad with his face pale and sad. Hear his sweetheart those words he did say. Her tonight in our last night together For the dearest and dearest was far For a soldier may roll to the end of the world With his thoughts and his loving sweetheart let us roll hand in hand to the meadows Where we once fell in love, you and I Where you told me to love, you dear money Now teach me to tell you goodbye
magic lands. Well done.
places, restaurants and all that, taking places with all the dogs like you, people drinking all the nonsense.
over here today is to organise a, a parachute jump for the Clara Children's Christmas Parade. Who's got the parachute jump? Well, I'm hopeful that you'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> I've been along, there's contracts out in your long name now, okay. and I, I think this is the answer. I'd say this is John Law descending from the... Right, this is John Law now descending from the air. He's on a he, he's training session here in uh, Tundalog Parachute. Now we go over and interview John. Well, Bertie. Well, John, how did it feel up there? Good. Uh, Good. Oh, Doing well. Were you nervous? Oh, I was very nervous, so I was. But well, you caught your breath now. I got me breath and everything like that. Well, you're up to the fire in your critics now. Yes, yes. My critics there, can go to hell yes. now, so they can. And when is the next big jump? The next big jump is in about two weeks' time. This gentleman here. Right. Tony, this gentleman here will be bringing me up the next time. This is me with my clothes on now. Yeah, he has his clothes on now at the moment. But the next time I go up, we with this right, guy here. Right. Okay. Well, we're looking forward to having the parachute club over in Clara. In Clara. On the 14th. Right, we're back here in the Irish Parachute Club in Eden Derry in Clondalogue, actually. And what I'm actually looking at here is what's known as a, I'm told it's a micro light. Now, what it is after that, I cannot tell you. I've never been up in one, but the actual pilot of this micro light has offered to give me a lift up in the air. Uh, a helicopter. <laughs> now I can hear absolutely. All, all I can hear now is some radio people speaking, the control or something like that. Right, you can hear me now as well. Oh, indeed I can, yeah, that's marvelous. That's very good. What do I'm talking on the radio, you off, is Okay. Only one to uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is marvellous, isn't it? Huh? This, yeah, is no, worse than, this is worse than Annika Rice. Which does First time. <laughs> I've never, Mike, I've never been in anything like, I've never seen anything like this before. Mike, who's steering, by the way? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. Me. Right. Where are you going to sit? On me now. <laughs> no, you're on it. <laughs> Tony! To all the viewers, he's feeling me legs, so he is. To all the viewers, I wish you the best of luck. It's been nice knowing you. I'm going to put down this joke. You're all right, Mike. Sheep, all together. 
I can't hear you. Nah, nah, nah. I'll do it better now. I believe that Steve actually came down from Wicklow the other day. Bertie was telling me on the radio that he got quite a few looks. And I imagine he would. Now the fun wave out of race, they're coming up, if you look down Main Street, they're coming up. In the pole position, Brian Kelly and Melissa Corley, the Innocents. On the inside lane, Edward Fleming and Orla Dolan from the Fair Green. Top of the right is the pairing of Claudia Fleming and Aidan Dyken, the Automobile. Uh, Mary Newman and Damien Corley love Joy. And see, Edward Fleming, the winner there, and Orla Dolan, the Fair Green. And also, we uh, at number 10, the most versatile, talented Lloyd Bracken and uh, John Newman. Do we have more? Oh, yeah. Valley Combo patient, uh, Linda McCormick and Joe Flynn. The race is, as you can see, just completed. We have a casualty. <laughs> Someone fall out of a wheelbarrow down on Main Street. I've also been asked to mention to you, just before I take my leave and go down for the official opening, the parade has been broadcast for part of it live on Radio 3 today. And Clara Tidy Towns, stop, look and listen is the message. They need action now towards a more tidy Clara town. You can help by painting, decorating, providing flower baskets, window boxes and sweeping outside your premises each morning. Keep the streets litter free. Be active, be alive is the message. Floods coming up now from Kilcormick, the first one to do with head schools. from Valley Boy in the Kilcormick area. It's all about head schools. Now your history class teacher will tell you all about that. They were prominent in, the, uh, in every part of Ireland during the penal times from 1700 to 1800 as education was denied. They weren't allowed to be educated. Another one hanging around there at the back of the truck. Excellent. Give them a large round of applause again. Brilliant. the goals. Well, I'll give it another little man. Young St. Patrick. And she wishes to congratulate the Clara St. Patrick's Day Parade. That's Seamus Craven's entry there. There's a bit of a row going on over it. Stop fighting. The Vikings' capture of St. Patrick, it is, entered by Seamus Craven. Six if you want that hole or don't go anywhere for you. Pitch and hot coming through. Over 25 years in Tara now, the pitch and hot. Of course, a new course there recently. And we signs on the back, I'm afraid. Fallon's Butcher's there coming through. Alan Fallon down beside the male house there. Pound of for everyone in the audience. <laughs> Terry Kelly going through there as well. Well done, Terry. Good to have you with us. Terry Kelly going through. <laughs> M&G Motors. Right, you want the kids minded? Denise is then from Moat, the crash. Look at the big paddy. <laughs> Denise is then in Moat. The Grand Hotel going through as well with the Merck. Merck for everyone in the audience too. Uh, the Grand Hotel. Want to get married? They okay, look after you. St. Bridget's Credit Union. Savings, low interest loans, dividends. The heart of the community, St. Bridget's Credit Union. Going through there as well. Dawn High and Low Milch. Dawn Dairy is from Moat as well. Some of those going out there from Dawn Milch. Don Snow Pink from Mo. The Mullingar Town Band, sponsored by Mullingar Credit Union with us here today. Will you give them all a large round of applause if 
welcome them back to Tara.
Williams of Terrell's Pass, the Stop Car Club in Terrell's Pass, the Ryan Stop Car Club. There may be a few others in there that I'm not familiar with, but give them all a round of applause anyway. Stop Car Racing the latest sport to hit the Midlands. A lot of work goes into those cars, as you can see. Not just something you throw together overnight. So give them a large round of applause to all our Stop Car entries. John Sheeran, I see, in one of the cars as well.
Well, we hope you all enjoyed that, uh, our first virtual St. Patrick's Day Parade. Uh, just to thank everybody who's been involved in it in, in any way. If we start naming names, we leave someone out and we don't want to do that. So I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully we'll be back on the street as opposed to virtually for next St. Patrick's Day. In the meantime, thanks as I said for watching. Uh, enjoy yourselves, take care of yourselves and take care of each other.